Imagine standing in front of a packed hospital theater. Boston, 1845. Surgeons, students, and skeptics staring down at you. You promise to end pain itself, but when the patient screams mid-surgery, your career and your sanity begin to collapse. This is the story of how humiliation, not heroism, gave birth to anesthesia. Horace Wells wasn't a doctor chasing fame. He was a dentist chasing mercy. In 1844, he saw a man injure his leg under the influence of laughing gas and feel nothing. The next day, Wells tested it on himself, had a tooth pulled, and felt no pain. He thought he'd found salvation for every screaming patient on every operating table. January 20th, 1845, Massachusetts General Hospital. Wells steps into the surgical amphitheater, his friend William Morton by his side. Nitrous oxide fills the room. The patient exhales, the surgeon begins, and then the patient screams. Gasps echo through the crowd. Laughter follows. They call Wells a fraud. He flees the room in disgrace. But failure has gravity. It pulls discovery out of stubborn hands. Morton, humiliated alongside Wells, turns to a new idea he'd heard in a Harvard chemistry lecture. Sulfuric ether. He tested on animals, then on himself. And in 1846, just 21 months later, he returns to that same hospital. The patient sleeps. The surgeon cuts. Silence. No scream. For the first time in history, surgery is painless. They called it Lethion, named after the mythical river that erased painful memories. But history remembers the truth. The discovery of anesthesia was born not from success, but from failure brave enough to be witnessed. Subscribe and follow for more true stories of how human mistakes shaped modern medicine.